Find the angle between 0 and 2 pi radians that is coterminal with 13 pi over 6 radians. All right, so the first thing is draw out your set of axes and then start labeling the measurements, okay, in terms of radians. 0 is always on the positive x. Now, since this is a positive radian measure, we're going to be rotating counterclockwise. So the first stop is going to be half of a pi. We know that, that this represents half of a pi radians, okay? They're all in terms of radians here. This represents a full pi's worth of radians, meaning 3.14 radians is there. Then this is going to be 3 halves of 3.14 radians, okay? And then we would come back, and if we rotate around a full circle, that would be then 2 pi radians. And we can keep going, right? This would then be 2.5 pi, basically, right? Or 5 halves, or however you want to write it, 2.5 pi. It doesn't really matter, okay? Now watch. What I want to do here is I want to look at this angle, and I want to figure out how many pi's did I rotate, Okay? So basically, I can rewrite this as 13 over 6 pi. Throw it into your calculator. Do 13 over 6, and you get a value of about 2.16 repeating pi. In other words, watch this. Go take a look at the graph. Draw your initial side, then draw your terminal side, and now we're going to manipulate this terminal side. i got to rotate this 2.16 repeating pi times. So watch. Ready? We're starting at 0. Half of a pi full pi, 3 halves pi, 2 pi, and maybe that's one, you know, maybe that's 16 now hundredths, okay, of the way to two and a half. So maybe it's right about here, okay, roughly. Now what happened is this, this full rotation represented, that full thing represented 2 pi. And then we had now, what's left over is we had 0 0.16 repeating pi. Right? Does it, doesn't that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay, we had that left over. Now, this is going to get a little messy. But, now we have to find the angle that's co-terminal, meaning co-together, terminal mean end. This right here represents the end. Why do I have an arrow at the end? I don't really know. You don't need it. But what I want to do now is i got to create, and let me just make that a little neater. Let me just put this over that. There we go. So now I'm going to draw a blue initial side, and then I'm going to draw now a blue terminal side. And what i got to do is i got to rotate this clockwise again from the positive x-axis such that they have the same terminal end. That's the idea of co-terminal. Oh, and wait, there it is. It's right there. So what's the measurement in, inside of here? How many pies? 0.16 repeating pies, right? 0 0.16 repeating pi. Okay, that's how many pies there are. Now, what does is, what is this work out to be? What does 0.16 work out to be? You can do some calculations if you wanted. You could do 1 over 7, no. Maybe 1 over 8, no. Maybe 1 over 6. Oh, right. 1 over 6, right? So 0.16 repeating is actually the same thing as 1 sixth pi. So guess what? This is then that measurement. This is the angle in here, ladies and gentlemen. That is the angle in there that be, that is a or creates a coterminal angle with the indicated angle there. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I do hope that helped. Please check out some more of our videos and I will see you soon. All right, take care.